Hey guys, Chris here, and this is going to be a review on the Jose El Piedra Conserva cigars, and this is a five pack. I did get five of these five packs. There you can see the logo, Jose El Piedra, Cuba. Uh, feels a little bit embossed. These are circular, all these ovals. As per usual, you got the um, stuff there, the triangle with the um, corner. Habano thing, the usual verification thing, I'm not quite sure what, um, you know, the Habanos thingy label. So I thought focus is on point tonight. But yeah, it's not a bad looking pack of scars. These are very, very cheap. I think it's £33. So if you think it has like six, six fifty per cigar, you're looking at something pretty cheap. For a decent Cuban, if you look at something like Monte Cristo 10, that's going to cost you 10 quid. I've not had these before, but you know, they are a good price. And I've heard some good things about them. There's some debate, I'll talk about that later. Um, yeah, definitely a decent size. The band looks pretty plain. Uh, I've looked through these, and most of them, there tends to be some spots on the wrappers. Just thought I'd mention that one. Uh, just for some size comparisons, I'm just going to show you this one, maybe with the Monte Cristo number 4. This is just the one I decided to compare it to today. As you can see size-wise, I'm just line this one up. You can see it's definitely a lot, you know, it's not too much taller, but it's definitely a decent bit thicker. Even though it's only specifies it's 5.5 inches and a 42 ring gauge. Uh, sorry, 44 ring gauge. I feel it's a little bit more than that. But yeah, as you see, pretty um, pretty stocky cigar, I would say. I mean, it's not it's not little, but I mean, it's pretty. I don't know, <laughs> pretty uh, lots of tobacco. That's probably the best I could really think on it. As you can see, the band is really plain, like, compared to something really good. No, it's just you know basic pattern, basic white and brown. Sorry I'm a little bit quiet today, by the way, it is kind of like a late night review. I thought I'd do something different. Just mix it up a little bit. So, let's get the punch out. And basically just dig right in there, pull out. What I like about the punch is also gives, um, if you go right, you know, quite deep, you get a good push cut, I would say. You know, um, like if you get a golf tee or something and you just poke it right in the end, it sort of goes in, spreads the tobacco out a bit. It's kind of that kind of thing. It works out quite well. It smells very rich. I was actually um, thinking about this earlier, because, you know, when I got these naturally, the first thing I did was check them out. And it does remind me of Cohiba a little bit. It's very rich earthiness. Going by the price, I would say they're probably short filler, but I've not actually looked into that. Very deep, very rich flavor, very good, um, strong, earthy flavor with, you know, the hints of, um, the hints of peat. I usually go with those to describe very rich tobacco, since that is basically the basic, um, I don't know, the basic construct of plain tobacco flavors. And it's, you know, sort of like, um, a very nice, deep, but pleasant, I'm guessing it's a little bit of, um, that little bit of peat, I guess, is adding to the uh, sweeter flavour on it. But it's very a decent amount of strong earthiness, so I guess we could you know, expect that in the taste. It does taste quite a bit like that. I'm just going to do this since I can't actually um, speak too well right now. Decent amount of airflow, nothing too spectacular. Again, very rich. That is, um, seems to be pretty good. Now, I have it on, um, I wouldn't say good authority, but the date listed on these was November 2014, so that's, you know, at least a year and a half in the humidor. I heard they need, you know, at least a decent amount of time in the humidor, otherwise you're going to have problems, so we're going to have to see. They should have been stored in good humidor conditions, so well, you know, that's something we'll have to investigate. So, normal way of lighting. 
I'm not going to go into too much detail this time. Just light the center light around the edges. I would love to get some long reach matches. Initial impressions taste just like a Monty. I'm not kidding, this tastes just like a Monty 4. That was um, sort of an ironic cigar to compare it to. It tastes just like it as well. What the hell is going on here? Not too happy about that burn, and with it being a cheap cigar, maybe it's short filler, maybe it's got a bunch of, you know, some cost cutting stuff in there. That means it's probably not going to burn too well. So I'm a little bit worried about that, but we'll get to that when it comes to it. Oh my god, this is a Monty 4. <laughs> Definitely picked up the right cigar. It's got the band to prove it. I mean, so far so good, aside from that band, I mean, it's just a bit plain, I like to collect bands. Not too much smoke, definitely Monty Four taste. Question is, how would I put this into words? Sort of a medium, medium earth. I'm trying to uh, discern the flavors in this because I'm just trying to give you my initial impression. It takes a you know a little while to get into it, but I don't want to oversmoke it, so that's a little bit of a problem. Sort of uh, lingers a um, musty sort of. A musty sort of faint peat, possibly. Um, it is pretty. It's not generic at all. It's very um. It's a musty tobacco. A little bit of peat, I would say, in the back. You know, just a lingering taste. It's all very light, there's nothing, um, this is completely light. <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm currently doing, it's, um, I'm trying to really debate between woodiness and nuttiness, because there's a lot of either in this. It's sort of like a weird crossover, I would say both, probably. I mean, maybe decently strong on the light, sweet nuttiness with a little bit of woodiness in there and I don't mean um I don't mean like cedar humidor woodiness. I mean like actual, you know, decent woody taste. That's about what I'm getting so far. And this burn's actually not doing too bad. Hopefully the um oh focus works a little bit better with this game. Yeah. So I'll set that down. We're going to enjoy this over some time, and I will get back to you when we've made a bit more progress on this cigar. So we're about 15 minutes, 15-16 minutes into the cigar. I um, started the stopwatch early. I was like, oh shit. And um, I went back on my live stream a little bit, and realized that's only 3 or 4 minutes, so I just had that on. So um, how's this burning going? I want to do a 15 minute update, because there's nothing... There's no points of interest about the scarf flavors so haven't changed, nothing interesting like that. Ash is looking good, 50 minutes is a good place to start. Um, everything I want to say, reminiscent of a Monty 4. It's also reminiscent of a camera that doesn't autofocus. The autofocus on this thing is legitimately awful, I need to complain about it. But um, 
It's looking okay. It's doing the Monty Four thing. <laughs> this is the Monty Four cigar. I think I'm going to take this more regularly than the Monty Four. Like this thing is insanely identical to it. The flavors haven't changed. I'm just going to show you the cigars page now. I I think this is becoming part of the trend. This got two out of five star reviews, but reading them all. It looks like put them in the humidor and they're very good. That's the general consensus from reading as many as I could. But um, yeah, you might want to take that differently. You might want to read into it, but I think these are very good so far. But I might turn to shit at the end, so you know that's that's why you gotta watch the review. Thirty four pounds that works out about six pound eighty each, very cheap. And yeah, that's about all there is to say. They also sell a bundle of twenty five, so you might also want to watch out for that. So let's just quickly go back to the white screen just so um colours aren't thrown off. It's going very well. This reminds me so much of a Monty 4. It's like a bigger Monty 4, but it tastes exactly the same. It's very good. Tastes like a little spicy nuttiness in there. Nothing Nine two off. Yeah, spicy nuttiness in there. Tastes very good. Woodiness in there. A little bit of rich earth. Fraction of peat and aftertaste. So I'm not speaking much, I'm just trying to discern these flavours. It's pretty um it's pretty light, so you're not getting like a huge hit of the flavours, but it's you know, extremely pleasant. Just like the Monty Four. And that's we're getting a decent size. We're nearing twenty minutes into this car. So we got at least an hour on this by the look of it. Enjoying it very, very much. So uh, stay tuned for the next segment of the review. Anyways, so we are, give or take, half an hour in. Pretty much half an hour in anyway. Taste, still very good. It's, um... I wouldn't know how to describe where we are now. I don't remember how long the scar initially was. Um, getting to halfway. Very good cigar so far. Burns been excellent. It looks like a little dab there, but that's because I, you know, went to go get a drink and stuff. That will probably sort itself out. But it's burning very well. Something I do have to mention is that. The reviews do seem to always mention, make sure you've got them in your humidor for a while, make sure they're very well settled. And these definitely have been in the humidor for quite a long time, I think. So um, it's not something I've had a problem with, so I wouldn't really know how to comment on it. But going by reviews. I'm actually going to leave that burn, make sure it um, it should fix itself, it looks like it is. Lots of nightiness in there. Tiniest bit of spice, but nothing. See, it's fixing itself right there. Right in front of your eyes, fixing itself. Again, still, still the same, very, very light. Very pleasant, lots of nightiness. This is the Monty 4, I'm, I'm not joking. I just can't get over how similar the scars are. I guess it was just telepathy that I managed to pick the Monty 4 to compare it to at first. A 
fair share of wittiness and the uh, nuttiness. I mean, the wittiness is a little bit more prevalent than usual taste-wise, but there's not enough of it to really make much of a difference. A little bit of earthiness as per expected. Tiny hint of peat, leaving an aftertaste, leaving, you know, kind of like a decent, sweet, very enjoyable aftertaste. This tends to be what I look for in scarves. This is definitely already up there and they're very cheap, so it's definitely looking very good. I think we should, um, I think we should probably have like a channel mascot called Pete. That, that would work out quite well. Yeah, it's just the band looks very cheap. I'm going to take the band off now. Um, these were on, but I've been taking them in and out of the box, just looking at them all day pretty much. And yeah, some of these have come loose. I'd also like to mention that these are very dark. I'm not sure how well the camera's, you know, showing it across, but it's a darker wrapper. Rosiel Piedra Cuba. Vilta Riba, I believe. So, a little bit of a vein peeling out there. I'm not concerned about that. As I said, there are a little bit of veins. These do look a little bit roughly rolled, just a little bit. There's others in these, you know, other ranges in the Jose El Piedra range that are very similar. They also come in the five packs, similar price, I believe. These are the ones I'm chosen, I'm actually pretty glad I did. Very, very good, very good burn. Very good everything, and we're pretty much 35 minutes in. So I'll let you know as we get to maybe a bit more towards the end. Um, so we are just about an hour in. Thought it'd be a good time to do a segment, although we're probably going to do the closing segment pretty soon. Because I always like to get very close to the end and then finish that on stream. I finish that off video, sorry. Um, this ash is about the same, a little bit longer than the original ash that fell off. And I've had to do a little bit of touch ups with the lighter, but nothing too drastic. Probably something that would have sorted itself out, but I'm a little bit paranoid. So the uh, volume in this um, volume in this video seems to fluctuate a little bit. A combination of um, me trying to talk quietly and sometimes when I talk quite loudly without really realizing it's, you know, it's now half four in the morning, so. But yeah, this has been such a good cigar. And I'm just going to tap this off. I'm getting a strong taste of just ash, I would guess. Probably because of the way the burn's been going. As I said, mostly these problems with the burns tend to be my fault. I tend to touch up things that would sort themselves out and then that causes more problems. Even despite that, barely any burning taste. It's still the same, there's a little bit of extra spice in there, maybe like a little bit of an extra spicy nuttiness. But again, exact same flavours. Dinus, a little bit of wood. Reasonable amount of earth. Some peat and aftertaste add the sweetness. This has been so consistent the whole way through and it's been an hour. Same flavours, I mean a little bit heavier. It's um of course, it's getting towards the hard draws. It's still a silky smooth intake. Um, one thing is the whole cigar itself, straight from the start, did feel a little bit soft. That's not really a problem though, it's been going very good. Uh, there has been this large vein the whole way, I've been thinking about it, but it's done nothing. No problems. Except there's a little uh, dent in here, don't know what that's about, but it's no problem so far. So far, I'm happy with everything. The only thing I'm not happy about is the band, because um, as a collector's item, it's just not. Uh, you know, I like to collect bands I like to have in the collection. They're quite nice looking. Some of them are very good. I like the open regatta bands, especially. 
or just the the Monte Cristo band, the normal one, on the open cigars. That's um, probably one of my favourites. I also like RYJ bands. Cohibas are good, but not my favourite. So yeah, I like when I have a good cigar to have a good band to go with it. Not in this case. That's a tiny little nitpick thing. Everything about this has been great so far. Price is great. And it's still very light. I would say this is full full light body. Because once you get to this stage, it doesn't even matter if this just heats right up. So I would say this is probably one of the best cigars I've had this year, especially for value. Again, at 7 quid, instead of paying maybe 10 11 for a Monte 4, this tastes very similar. <laughs> it's the cigar, I'd say it's pretty much the same. I had a Monte 4 yesterday, actually. And, yeah, I feel like I'm smoking the same cigar. At least I think it was yesterday. This thing is incredible. So, we're probably going to make a little bit more progress, but I'm not quite sure how much more. And that'll be the closing segment of this. So, stay tuned. So, this is the ending segment of the... I've already forgotten the name. Jose El Piedra Cuban Cigar. This is the Conservas. And yeah, I'm just ending this here just so I could enjoy a little bit off stream, off um, off video. Sorry, hour and ten minutes in, probably an hour ten fifteen left on this. But you're probably looking at an hour and a half cigar. I've been smoking this one a little bit fast. Probably wasted a good ten minutes of it. You could probably maybe get two hours of it if you're a very very slow smoker. I'm pretty fast, so when I pick up a cigar, I've just not got the ability to put it down for a minute. It's just not happening. So, um, flavor's fantastic. Like, this is Monte 4 for a fraction of the price. I just realized my desk keeps shaking. It's kind of annoying me now. But, um, yeah, very, very good construction cigar. I mean, it doesn't look too great out of the box. It looks like, um, sort of like a rough dark wrapper. Let me just show you what I mean. As you see, you know, spots on some of them. It just looks like a fairly standard cheaper cigar, but no, it does taste like you know a very good Monte Four. I would say very good taste, uh, pretty good Cuban, very good for Cuban actually. Um, yeah, very long lasting, very good taste, very good construction, very good burn. Everything about that was great. So I would probably rate that nine and a half out of ten. Like. I, I can't take points off it for the fucking band. It's just, it's just that that's such a small thing, and that's the that's the biggest thing I've got to complain about it. So that shows you about the scar. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. I recommend you pick some of these up if you can. Make sure they're well aged. Going by the reviews, although as I said, that's not my case, so I can't really say much about that. So thanks for watching this review. I hope you enjoy it. As you might have noticed. It is light outside. Usually I start these and it gets, you know, in the summer I start these. It starts off light, gets darker as it goes, all the way around. It's half four in, half four in the morning. So, um, thanks for watching this review. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed these cigars. If you pick any of them up, I definitely recommend them. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page as well. Keep forgetting to mention this, but um, I post a lot of content there. You'll probably never see it here. Lots of stuff there, lots of extras there, you'll definitely enjoy it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.